Welcome back to the Pat Long Codes YouTube channel. Um, in this video, we're going to continue in our series of uh, generating PDF files using Python. And uh, all the code used in this presentation is linked in the description below. There's also a link to a companion video uh, where I generate a similar output um, with a slightly less uh, formatted uh, um, table. Um, and that is also linked in the description below. So here, here was the output I created with the initial um, code. And in this video, we're going to build on that code and create a slightly more customized output um, with uh, the table and graph as shown in this uh, PDF file. So let's jump into uh, the code. So here I am in the uh, Google Colab uh, Jupyter Notebook um, that's linked below. And uh, this is the previous example. Uh, there's also in the companion video link below. And uh, now I'm going to add using the FPDF library instead of doing this exclusively in matplotlib uh, as I did in the uh, other video. So I'm um, going to have to install um, matplotlib, I'm um, sorry, uh, fpdf. Uh, and I'm also going to have to run uh, generating the data set that we use, which is the iris data set. And more about that is um, mentioned in the companion video, which, which like I said, is in the um, description below. So yeah, I'm importing the FPDF library, also matplotlib, because I will still use that, of course, for the um, for the chart, and, and there's really no change in the code from that. Um, but something I will have to do, because I'm using the FPDF library, is um, that I have to save the mat, matplotlib uh, generated um, chart as a, as a .png file in my current... We don't have to do it in your current directory, but I'm going to save it in my current directory. And I'm going to use the um, subplot 211. Um, I also went into description of what exactly that refers to um, in terms of the uh, um, subplot method in, in the previous video as well, which is linked in the description below. But yeah, I'm saving this matplotlib uh, chart that I'm creating right now. Um, as a .png file, and then we're going to insert that in our um, final outputted PDF file using the FPDF library. So again, all the uh, all the code I'm using um, here is also um, used in the, in the in the previous video. Um, Yeah, and here when I when I make A and B, I'm just using uh, the ticks to uh, separate either side of them um, in the uh, in the bar chart. So using X ticks, I'm going to uh, create um, labels for the ticks, um, and they're going to be the target names essentially, and I'm. I'm also going to add uh, a 45 degree angle with the uh, final argument. Um, with the final argument here, I'm, I'm, I'm adding uh, a rotation of um, equal to 45 uh, so you can see them angled. And now with the, the bar method, I'm going to uh, use the arguments... Um, to, to create the width and the length of the bars based on the data. Um, this is all data driven based on the uh, iris group DF um, data set that we're using. And so um, here with the label, I'm just using the last value, uh, which is the... Um, Which 
which is the uh the um the type of uh the the type of um plant and so yeah this here you see I'm going by the different rows um based on these data so that's row zero row one and row two And so then I'm also going to uh, use the legend method and access um, and as far as the access goes, the a is based on the data. You see it goes up to about six point eight there, and then uh, twenty is based on um, where I set the ticks. So 0 to 20 on the x-axis and 0 to A on the y-axis. So now we can just uh, output our um, .png file. Um, and yeah, here we get the output we want. And we can see it as a PNG file there. So we're going to eventually put this into our PDF. Um, so yeah, back at it now we're using the fpdf library where we're actually gonna create a much more customized table than i did in a previous example in another video that's linked in the description where i exclusively use the matplotlib library um here we're going to use uh here we're using the um fpdf library and uh using in principle Principally, the dot cell, um, the cell method within the FPDF library, where we're gonna um, use the various parameters to pinpoint the location uh, of uh, particular um, rows and uh, uh, within the table. So starting, starting obviously with the um, iris measurements uh, by class um, and a key thing to note with this is that when we're using the uh, second to last argument um, of two uh, we're going to be uh, returning down to the next row and uh, you'll, you'll really see that um, as we go along when I'm using some uh, um, for loops um, as we loop through creating the table. Yeah, and this is, I mean, this is pretty involved, especially compared to the um, the matplotlib table, but uh, this is, you know, a, a very customized table um, that if you know your data is actually quite reproducible um, and you can probably make it a lot more efficient if you have a uh, user-defined function um, as uh as the FPDF documentation recommends in a lot of cases. But here I'm making a very customized table that's formatted quite nicely um, and it's a separate um, entity within the PDF from the, um, from the graph I'm creating in matplotlib. Uh, so yeah, again, I, I, I make use of uh, these for loops um, and um, the I also make use of the uh, built-in uh, enumerate function um, to um, loop through um, to loop through the column name list. Um, and and print out the uh, the data, um, and then I'm also going to use the if and if then else um, statement um, for when we get to the last item in the column name list, um, where I'll be using uh, the 
second to last argument, I'll be putting a two instead of a zero so I can uh, um, get a carriage return to the next line. And so, yeah, this is pretty involved. Um, and so, you know, this is a fully reproducible um, example. So you may find it useful to apply it to your own uh, data frame or own data set um, to get a good sense of how you might uh, use um, something like this. It doesn't don't necessarily need to use a um, if else or or for loops like I'm using. Um, so I'm just copying and pasting that and changing the one argument here, the last one to two again, so I can uh, return to the next line if it's the last. Um, I am in that um, column name list. Sorry, in the in the in the row of data. And here again, I, I'm I finish off with uh, PDF dot cell um, going to a particular point. Um, and then um, eventually, I'm going to have to point to a particular. Uh, cell so I can uh, put the image of the um, .png file um, that we created with matplotlib in here. And so yeah, we're just about ready to run this. Again, I know this is very involved, uh, but the code is all in the description below and you can run this and compared to the much easier just produced in matplotlib version, uh, which is not as customizable um, as this example, and you know, see which one may work for you. Um, yeah, so uh, we are just about ready to run this now, and there's an error. Um, so, yep, yeah, just missing a uh, Oh, and uh, also missing um, writing FPDF in caps. And yeah, so I think we're set. Now we can go ahead and look at this. And let's go ahead and look at the output. So yeah, this is the final output of PDF file. Um, yeah, it was a pretty extensive example for the uh, table. Um, so hopefully this is a useful example. You can customize it further if you'd like. Um, and that's about it. Um, thanks for uh, watching the video. And uh, again, all the code is in the description below. And see you in the next video.